Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 39 in chapter 23. Chapter 23 is about electric potential. And this is a follow-up of problem 38. You can see we have a rod, right? This rod is the length is 2L, and the charge capital Q is uniformly distributed on it. Now we need to find the potential for points along the x-axis. So now we can see this is the position we can see we need to find the v, okay? And the distance from this position to the center is just x. Mm -hmm. How can we do that? We can cut this rod in infinity small fractions. For example, this is one small fraction. The charge it carry we can see is dq, right? And then divided by 4 pi epsilon r. This r is the distance from the this uh, point charge with the location we calculated p. Okay. Now the distance for this r in this case is just x minus x plus, right? So we write it there. The next one, can you calculate the charge carried by this small fraction dq? So we can use the charge density times the dx plus, right? The small fraction length dx plus. So charge density is total charge divided by 2L. Now in this case, we can input dq and r inside. We get function look like this one and put the constant out. So the integral look like this one. And then the x plus, we need to do integral from the negative L to L, right? And then find the answer is there. If you feel very difficult to do the integral look like this one, you can check the mathematical handbook. The answer is there, how to do these integrals. Thank you.